This is Alec Johnson, one of the presenters during our workshop. I'm going to illustrate each of the four essential images to capture in photojournalism. I photographed this series in the wake of the George Floyd murder in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the early summer of 2022, which on one hand uh, resulted in destructive rioting, and on the other hand, an outpouring of community support and compassion. Because my own property was at risk, I stayed at home and did not take my camera out during the riots. But what happened after the riots was truly beautiful. These images were chosen because they tell one part of the story and illustrate the four essential images in photojournalism. I'll start walking you through them now. So this first, really the first three, two or three images are establishing shots, setting the scene. And uh, this was on a street in downtown Minneapolis. Uh, and, and I like the perspective and how it leads into where the next shot is going. Uh, and what you see written on, on the road are uh, the names of people who have been uh, murdered by police. The next image really starts to set the scene. We know this is about George Floyd. And what we really see here is remembrance, positivity, compassion, healing starting to develop in the story. Uh, and, and this image really starts to illustrate that. But the problem with the first two images is that it, while, while most people around here will know that this happened in Minneapolis, Minnesota, not, not everyone will. And so as I walked and shot and worked, I saw this person painting the abbreviation of Minneapolis on a wall. So these first three images really start to establish the situation and the location. This image also set up what I started to gravitate towards was, which was the, the activity of the artists, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, the next image was important to me because it George Floyd was murdered by a member of the Minneapolis police force. And so I took this image opportunity to make that connection between George Floyd, who's now dead and been murdered, and the uh, Minneapolis police. And of course, one of the unfortunate side effects of these situations is the destruction of property and rioting. Uh, but that was not a part of the story I was particularly interested in, but thought it Im important to include in the overall storyline. Here I'm using what, what I referred to as an over-the-shoulder shot to uh, begin illustrating how people choose to remember and heal differently. And so this was a big, beautiful memorial that had been painted and developed, and we had a few people uh, st from my observation, standing uh, sort of quietly in remembrance uh, of the situation. And I show another uh, shot here where other people are choosing to honor and remember and heal in different ways we have. And again, I'm using an old over-the-shoulder shot. And, and so um, we have two people on either side of the frame standing and in, in quiet remembrance. And then we have this third person choosing to heal uh, in a different way, seated on the ground and directly in front of the memorial, which with looks like uh, some, some version of a religious book. But what was really happening in this area was what, what the artists were doing to uh, create remembrance and healing. And so this is sort of a, a back to an establishing shot for me, which now I've gone back to establish this theme of the story. And now I start working into more action shots, uh, another artist in a different part of the neighborhood uh, working. And again, I'm using a little bit of an over the shoulder shot to bring the viewer in using human element. Again, another action shot of artists. And in this case, now I've started to, uh, I'll start the next series of images to work into the scene. So I've sort of created another establishing action shot here. And then I shot a variation, but I've moved in closer for an action shot. And then I continue working in from the action shot into the close-ups 
uh, over the shoulder close up here of the artist working. And now I've worked all the way into a close up detail shot. And this particular image was uh, caught my eye because of the vibrant, full of life colors they were using in an otherwise pretty dark and, and sad situation. And that's what drew me to this family because they were right at the scene and there's plenty of art in the background to tell the viewer that this was a scene of the George Floyd murder. But this family and mother chose to come out in remembrance and in full of color in life. And so again, um, this to me was a very powerful image for its portrayal of life and beauty. Uh, and again, a very dark situation. This was the first of two portraits I shot. And of course, these are group portraits. Um, you may shoot group or individual portraits. Um, and then there was this group portrait I shot. And in the assignment document you were given, I said, the portrait shot is the one image that you should feel free to stage a little bit. I didn't stage this image, but I did stage this image. And by staging, I mean, I asked them to stand in front of the building and the light. Um, they chose, the three women in front chose to kneel, and the monks behind chose their poses, but I asked them to, to stand out in front, and they sort of did the rest. Uh, and I sort of just let them do their thing. And, and what was interesting about why I shot this portrait was because prior to photographing it, I talked with these people and learned that they had stayed open 24 hours a day for several days serving uh, the police, the first responders, and, and the artists and everyone who was trying to calm the situation down and start moving towards healing. And I was so um, compelled and moved by what they were doing that I asked for the portrait. And I asked them to come out in front, and they did the rest. And then the final shot, shot 16 of this series, uh, brings it all to a for me to a finish point, which is this beautiful work of art and all of the outpouring of beauty and remembrance and healing all in one, one scene here. What we notice absent from this image are actual people walking about. I don't know if that's a good choice or a bad choice. I shot a lot of variations of this image with people in the scene, but ultimately I wanted this to, ending frame of the story to be just about George Floyd and the community reaction. So we covered establishing shots, we covered action shots, we covered detail shots, we covered um, portrait shots, and we talked a little bit about one of several ways to photograph, which is the over the shoulder point of view. So I hope this helps illustrate for you how you can work on your assignment, and I wish you good luck.